Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker is now just 30 days away from its official release by Disney, Lucasfilm, J.J. Abrams, and even creator George Lucas that is all set and ready to end the Skywalker saga and the sequel trilogy itself. This is Mike Zero, make sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel for future Star Wars content. Now, one thing that a lot of fans are very concerned about when it comes to Episode 9 is of course the ending of the film, exactly how the final frames of this movie will be utilized by Disney, J.J. Abrams, Lucasfilm, and even others associated with this movie like Kathleen Kennedy, who is the president of all things Star Wars. Now, when we think about Episode 9, a lot of fans are hoping that there's going to be less ambiguity in this actual ending over, of course, the amount of closure that we will be getting in Episode 9. So, a lot of fans want closure when it comes to the very ending of the Skywalker saga, and hopefully that's going to be the case. However, what's really unfortunate has something to do with some of the choices that Disney and Lucasfilm made for the final cut of the ending of Episode 9 in comparison to what George Lucas originally actually had for the final frames of episode 9. Now, specifically, what's really intriguing about this is that it's described that during the reshoots and rewrites of the film for the months of August, September, and October is when many changes and adjustments were made to the film, where it's explained that various changes were made to the ending during production, and that originally they were testing with six different endings, which eventually dwindled down to three different endings that Disney and Lucasfilm were testing with. Toward the end of this year is when they developed a plan to combine all elements of three different endings into one big ending of the movie. However, this strategy came with many sacrifices to vital pieces of footage that were deleted that would have served as great moments for the fans. It's explained that the current ending that George, JJ, and Disney slash Lucasfilm are working on that is now moving along well is actually said to not include the Force Ghost of Anakin Skywalker on Tatooine. It said that originally in one of the George Lucas cuts for the ending of the film is that Anakin Skywalker's Force Ghost was going to be watching over Rey on Tatooine with Luke and Leia by his side. However, it's explained that this was ultimately cut by Disney and Lucasfilm and that they wanted to only stick with both Anakin and with both Luke and Leia's Force Ghost as opposed to Anakin by their side, watching over Rey on Tatooine by excluding Anakin Skywalker from the shot. It said that Hayden Christensen filmed the brief scene for the very ending of the movie, however Disney did not actually want to repeat what was already done in Return of the Jedi and wanted to keep Anakin out of the picture of the final frames of the film. Additionally, it's actually explained that originally Anakin in the final frames of the movie was said to be in a far older design by Luke and Leia's side and would have had all three members of the Skywalker family watching over Rey and that Rey would actually hear Ben Solo's voice reaching out to her while she was on Tatooine. Ben Solo's voice was also cut from the, from the film and it's actually implied that Ben does die in the current edit of the actual movie of the ending of the film and that George originally experimented with Adam Driver's voice reaching out to Ray, however not having him appear. Now this was actually cut from the film to keep Ben Solo's fate a mystery and alludes to J.J. Abrams having some form of ambiguity in the film on if Ben Solo turned into a force ghost or not. It's described that these changes were made due to Disney and Lucasfilm in need of a different tone for the ending of the film and that they want to change how, of course, many of George Lu Lucas and his ideas for the movie. It said that these changes also played a role in how the film's second act had a massive change in September during reshoots when they actually changed around 20% of the scenes in the film's second act. It said that also a brand new Skywalker theme by John Williams that he recorded during the summer of this year that was intended for the ending of the film was also cut from the final frames of the movie. As of now, the final cut of the ending is nearly complete as they have been working around the clock of shifting scenes and music around for the last moments of the film by Disney and Lucasfilm, J.J. Abrams, etc., and even George Lucas as well. So let's go over a couple of parts about this and as to why, in my point of view here, my opinion, my honest opinion, I believe that this is a terrible decision by Disney and Lucasfilm. Now, in my point of view, Anakin Skywalker is the true face of the Star Wars franchise. You know, I think that there's no denying that. You know, the Skywalker saga all started with Anakin, and it all really began on Tatooine, and it's all going to end on the world of Tatooine, of course, you know, according to the final cut of the ending of Episode 9. Now, as you all know, Disney and Lucasfilm went through a state of panic, and a lot of desperation was actually in place by Disney and Lucasfilm of getting George back on board. A lot of changes actually 
actually needed to be made for the uh, finalized version of the ending of Episode 9, and originally Anakin Skywalker's Force Ghost was going to be included in the final frames of Episode 9, alongside both Luke and Leia, having the Skywalker family watching over Rey as she's on the world of Tatooine. However, they wanted to exclude Anakin Skywalker to actually change things up a bit from Return of the Jedi's ending to now only having Luke and Leia. To me, I don't know about you guys, but that doesn't really make all that much sense to me because when you have a title called The Rise of Skywalker, if you got Skywalker in the title, you should at least do something very much big with all of the Skywalkers at the very end of Episode 9. So excluding Anakin Skywalker, to be honest, I'm not surprised after looking at the brand new cover for, of course, you know, The Rise of Skywalker, the original trilogy, and the prequel trilogy. Basically, Disney exploring all the different sagas in the forms of covers. I'm sure that you guys saw them yesterday. And if you guys go ahead and look at the prequel trilogy cover, and if you guys go ahead and look at the original trilogy cover specifically, the original trilogy cover and the prequel trilogy cover, both of which do not even include Yoda, which puzzles me. It really does, because how can you not have Yoda on the cover? So it seems like Disney and Lucasfilm, once again, they don't really truly understand exactly, you know, what Star Wars really is and what characters really mean something to fans. So, by the way, this was just for the ending of the film for the final frames of Episode 9. They do have other ha Anakin Skywalker scenes actually in the works for the final frames, for the final version of the movie, I should say, by Disney and Lucasfilm. Now, the other piece that I want to go over that I think is yet another big mistake is that originally they were going to actually have Ben Solo's voice reaching out to Rey. That was also ultimately deleted from the movie to keep it a mystery on whether or not Ben Solo was successful at becoming a Force ghost. Now, the current edit, the current edit of the film is actually implying that he does die by the hands of Palpatine at the very end of Episode 9. And to tell you the truth, you know, if we don't get to see a Force ghost of Ben Solo or even hear his voice like how it's now said to be deleted, I think that's a, that's a big failure by Disney Lucasfilm because that makes us wonder, you know, for years on end, did Ben Solo have a success of transferring his consciousness to the netherworld or not? Is that going to be explored in comics, books, or novels? That's a big mystery. It all depends on what they really want to do, right? We do know that Disney and Lucasfilm plan to create a new expanded universe. This kind of reminds me of what happened with Luke Skywalker in the old EU. We're at the very end of Return of the Jedi. You're left wondering as to exactly, you know, what the fate of Luke Skywalker really was. It's never really explained in the EU. He just pops up as a force ghost. So hopefully they don't do something, you know, like that, where they don't fully explain Ben Solo's fate and exactly down to the T of how he died and exactly how or if he didn't, if exactly how he became a force ghost or if he didn't become a force ghost. It seems like that that's going to be the ambiguous part of the ending. And you guys may recall that we went over this a couple of weeks ago that the ending of episode 9 is going to have some ambiguity as well as some closure. The closure, from what it seems, all has to do, you know, with Rey continuing on and, of course, the force ghosts of Luke and Leia watching over Rey. We will always be with you and stuff around those lines. Now, John Williams' theme, the new Skywalker theme, deleted as well, taken out of the final frames of Episode 9 and replaced with another ending, really confuses me because that could also have something to do with Rey adopting the Skywalker title, hence them taking out the theme of the new Skywalker theme. Could that indicate that they are not using that actual piece of the ending of Rey becoming a Skywalker? That's a big question open on the table for discussion as well. So like I've always said before in the past, I feel that Disney and Lucasfilm, you know, they really do have to really kind of put themselves in the right direction in order to really bring the Star Wars franchise on the right path. It's going to be an interesting, you know, experience to see exactly how the fans are going to react to the ending and how it's going to compare to Return of the Jedi's and to that of Revenge of the Sith's ending and how it's really going to compare overall, you know, as a film itself by J.J. Abrams to the other Star Wars films, especially to the last Jedi of all things, right? So anyways, guys, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about all of this in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.
again.